Oh, great. Thanks for the comment. I, well, I didn't see the English version there. It seems to be here now. So, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what we thought. That's what we thought. Uh, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's what we thought. Um, that's what we thought, the Morgan's theorem. Plot and label, state the transformations. Okay, derivative, derivative. Um, now with the last one here. Explain why is injective but not surjective. Oh, okay. Yeah, fine, fine. Okay, great. Now we can continue in English uh, on question six then. And get rid of the Irish version. F and G are the two functions. Find the two values of X for which F equals G. Okay, well, it's fine, isn't it? Just solve it. X plus four equals X squared minus two. So that means X squared minus X minus six equals zero. So what's that? X minus three times X plus two equals zero. So x equals 3 or minus 2. Let's test it out. If we put 3 in here, we'll get 7. And if we put 3 in here, we'll get 9 minus 2, which is 7. And if we put minus 2 in here, we'll get 2. And minus 2 squared is 4. Or minus 2 is 2. Yeah, it seems to check out. Fine, um, yeah. Find the area of the shaded region in the diagram below, not the scale, between the, okay, so this is uh, area between graphs. So to calculate the area between graphs, what you do is you integrate from minus one to two. That is between them, isn't it? Uh, yeah, between minus one and two, the upper function, minus the lower function minus x squared minus minus two so that would be integrate from minus one to two um, minus x squared plus x plus six the x so that would be minus x cubed over three plus x squared over two plus six x two and minus one so that would be minus eight over three plus four over two plus 12 minus one over three. Um, uh, plus one over two minus six. Minus eight over three plus two plus 12 minus one over three minus one over two plus six. That's 33 over two. Let me double check the answer here. Yeah, 33 over two and it's X plus four minus X squared minus two. Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay. B is a positive constant and this work out the value of B. 
okay 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 um so to integrate an exponential with a constant here on the x uh, basically you just divide by that constant b so this would become e b x because you'd have b over b uh, b and zero equals e so that would be e b by b is b squared minus e power zero which is one equals e interesting 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 um so that would be e b squared equals one plus e so that means b squared would be log one plus e so that means b would be root and we have to take the positive log one plus e and i'm curious to what that is roughly By the way, that's roughly equal to 1.146. So let me just check something here. Uh, Yeah, that looks right to me. Yeah, well, that was a bit tricky. That was a bit tricky, but that, that's the end of section A. Success.